In this video, I'll tell you the main differences between the free and paid versions of DaVinci Resolve, which version I use and why, and why the free version may be all that you need. DaVinci Resolve can be compared to Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro as it's a super powerful video editor you can use to make videos or edit existing videos. So if you're considering switching to DaVinci Resolve but don't know whether you need the free version or the paid studio version, this video is for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rob and I'm a freelance video editor and content creator. I use DaVinci Resolve every day in my business. I use it to edit videos for my freelance clients and to make videos for this YouTube channel. I currently use the paid version, but the free version is super packed with features. It might be all that you need, depending on what you want to do with it. So let's get into it. The free version has a maximum resolution of 3840 by 2160, also called Ultra HD or 4K, whereas the paid version supports up to 32K. I've never edited 8K footage, let alone 32K, so the free version would be all that I need here. The only thing I'll point out is that because 2160 is the resolution limit of the height, you cannot do 4K vertical or portrait videos or reels, that is 2160 wide by 3840 high. But if the vertical videos you're making are for TikTok, Instagram reels, or YouTube Shorts, 1080 by 1920 are the maximum dimensions allowed anyways, so you're fine with the free version. And you can make 4K widescreen videos no problem. The free version has a maximum frame rate of 60 frames per second in the timeline, so that's the maximum frame rate you can render your video with the free version. The paid version supports up to 120 frames per second. If you do have higher frame rate footage, say if you shot 120 or even 240 frames per second footage, you can still import that into the free version, but your timeline and therefore the final rendered video can only be a maximum of 60 frames per second. That means you can still shoot in 120, import it, and then slow it down to 60, 30, or even 24 in Resolve to get that that smooth slow motion footage. I don't ever render videos at anything higher than 60 frames per second, so once again, the free version is fine for me here. With the free version of Resolve, you can work with up to 8-bit footage, whereas the paid studio version supports 10-bit footage. In my case, I'm usually filming with a Sony a6400 crop sensor camera, a great camera by the way, but it doesn't do 10-bit footage anyways, so this wasn't a big deal for me. At some point in the future, I may upgrade to a full-frame 10-bit camera, but it's not something I need to do, and plenty of people take really good video with the a6400 or other 8-bit cameras. You'd only really need the 10-bit support if you want to get into high-end color grading. You can still color grade 8-bit footage in Resolve, it's just that with 10-bit you can do more color grading. This is the one that prompted me to open my wallet and get the paid studio version of Resolve, the ability to generate subtitles automatically. This feature was added to the studio version within the last year and saves me a ton of time. Once you've finished editing your video, or you've imported a completed video and just want to add subtitles to it, in just a few clicks you can automatically generate subtitles based on the audio in your video. Choose your language, or leave it on auto detect, tell it the max number of characters you want per line, whether you want two line or one line subtitles, and click generate. It's that simple. The subtitles will be generated on a subtitle track, and you'll be able to edit them from there. Adjust them in the timeline, reposition them, change the font, color, size, add backgrounds, whatever you want. This alone was worth it to me as it saves me from having to transcribe the videos and creating subtitles manually. The free version can only use one GPU when viewing and rendering your videos in Resolve, whereas the studio version takes advantage of multiple GPUs. This means faster render times and could save you a lot of time if you're working with longer videos or larger 4K video files. I use a MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip, which has multiple GPU cores, and I certainly noticed a difference when I upgraded. But if you don't mind waiting a few extra minutes for your renders or your video projects aren't very large, then the free version is probably fine for you. The good news is, the free version is free. <laughs> so you could always try it out first and then upgrade to the paid version if you find you want any of the extra features. So those were the main factors that affected me, but there's a whole bunch of other features that are only in the studio version. Most of these are fairly advanced, but if anything here interests you, you'd need the studio version to get them. DaVinci Resolve Studio has auto transcription features that the free version doesn't. Not only does it transcribe your video into text, but then allows you to edit your videos by editing the text. Delete some words from your text and that section of video will be deleted automatically. A handy time saver if you'd rather edit your videos that way. 
The studio version includes Magic Mask, which allows you to quickly isolate people or objects in your video. You can use Magic Mask in the Color tab and the Fusion tab, so you can either use it to track objects for the purpose of masking them and replacing the background, or perhaps applying color grading to only those people selected. The paid studio version also includes noise reduction, so with a few clicks, you can easily clean up any noise in your videos. Say if your blacks look too grainy. Noise reduction is an easy way to fix this. Smart Reframe is another studio feature and uses AI to automatically reframe your shot to keep a subject centered. Let's say you're repurposing a widescreen video into a reel or YouTube short that's vertical. Use Smart Reframe on the new clip and it will automatically add keyframes to keep your subject centered and not going out of frame. The paid studio version also includes advanced voice isolation. So with a few clicks, you can quickly clean up audio and remove background noise. You can choose how much or how little of this effect to use. Face Refinement is a set of tools that lets you easily make adjustments to a person's face in your videos. Add blush, remove blemishes, whiten teeth, all can be done with Face Refinement. You can remove objects in DaVinci Resolve Studio by simply selecting them, tracking them forwards and backwards, then removing them. And Relight is another cool and complex feature that allows you to add three-dimensional and accurate lighting in your videos. So for example, if you wanted to add light coming from a certain direction to your video after you've shot the video, you can do that with DaVinci Resolve Studio. There's a bunch of other things you can do with the studio version, but those are the main ones I can think of. The free version is 100% free, and you can use it professionally without any limitations or watermarks in your final renders. 95% of content creators don't need any of the paid features anyways, so the free version may truly be all that you need. But if you do decide you want some or all of the features I mentioned, the paid version is currently $295 and that's a one-time payment and includes all future upgrades, no monthly fees. If you haven't tried DaVinci Resolve, I encourage you to download the free version and give it a try. If you want to see more videos like this or want me to explain any of the features in more detail, let me know in the comments below. I'm Rob the Maritimer and I'll see you next time.